What is a DDoS attack? In this video, I'm going to talk about DDoS. So, what really DDoS is? DDoS, or Distributed Denial of Service, is a type of cyber attack aimed at disrupting the normal functions of a targeted server or network. So, in a DDoS attack, the assailant overwhelms the server or network with an excessive flow of traffic, including fraudulent requests. This flood of data clogs the system, thereby preventing legitimate traffic from being processed and causing service disruptions. What is an example of this? For instance, imagine a web server on the left belonging to a company that provides streaming services. On the other side, we have several customers using their computers to access the company's streaming content, viewing movies and shows. Suppose someone decides to target this company's web server with an attack. The motive might be a dislike for the company or its owners. The attacker uses their computer and software to flood the server with fraudulent traffic in an attempt to disrupt its services. This type of attack is known as a DOS attack, which stands for denial of service. It involves just one source, making it different from a DDoS attack. Typically, a network or server can manage an attack from a single source because it's straightforward to identify and mitigate. The server can simply block the connection from where the attack originates, minimizing the disruption. What occurs when an attack simultaneously originates from several sources? So that's where a DDoS, or distributed denial of service attack, comes into play. A DDoS involves multiple attackers simultaneously targeting a server. The primary attacker, or the ringleader, coordinates with other compromised computers globally to launch a unified assault on the server. Instead of dealing with a single source, the server now faces threats from various origins. So why multiple sources? This barrage from numerous sources can overwhelm the server's capabilities, consuming its system resources like CPU and memory, and depleting network bandwidth. Consequently, legitimate users attempting to access the server will experience service denial. The server, now bogged down handling the DDoS attack, cannot respond promptly to legitimate requests. This results in web pages that load slowly or not at all, leaving users staring at the frustrating spinning wheel of delay on their screens. So, how do attackers enlist other computers to participate in a DDoS attack? The answer lies in malicious software. Attackers create malware and spread it across the internet via compromised websites and email attachments. When an unsuspecting user visits these tainted websites or opens infected email attachments, the malware is installed on their computer without their knowledge, thus co-opting their machine into an army of compromised computers known as a BARTnet. This BARTnet, which can consist of hundreds or even thousands of computers worldwide, acts like a controlled military force, ready to act on commands from the attacker. The attacker serves as a centralized command center, capable of issuing directives to the BARTnet. Commands are sent to these infected computers to initiate an attack at a specified date and time. When the designated moment arrives, the orchestrated attack launches, overwhelming the target. Why people do DDoS attacks? People launch DDoS attacks for various reasons, including to disrupt business operations, extort money, make a political statement, or sometimes just for fun. Such attacks can also be used as a smokescreen for other malicious activities, diverting attention from data breaches or theft. Is it easy to do DDoS attack? Yes, it is very easy. Launching a DDoS attack can be alarmingly simple, one can even find DDoS for hire services on the dark web, marketed as DDoSaaS or DDoS as a service. But be very careful. This kind of activity is monitored, engaging in such activities is illegal and closely monitored by authorities, and could quickly lead to law enforcement intervention. And that's our quick run through on DDoS. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions drop them below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more insights.